morning or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening or good night. My name is Ross and I was always told I had a voice for radio, so today I'm going to be showing you another exciting new card from Ultra Prism. That's right, we are continuing our look at all the fun new cards from Ultra Prism and today we're talking about a Pokemon that I really do not talk about on this channel very often at all. It's Skuntank. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Skuntank. So Skuntank is a darkness type Pokemon, doesn't mean you're hitting anything for weakness unfortunately, maybe Lunala, maybe at some point Lunala becomes more popular, it does actually combo quite nicely with the new Solgaleo coming out, so fingers crossed actually maybe it will at some point, at which point yeah you're hitting for weakness and life is good. You do, as a Darkness-type Pokemon, get both Devoured Field and Reverse Valley, which is fun because they're both stadiums that allow you to do an extra 10 damage. Reverse Valley says that the other side Metal Pokemon take 10 less, and Devoured Field says that Dragon-types also do 10 more. As a side note, with Metal Pokemon looking like they're getting a huge spike in play, play Devoured Field over Reverse Valley. You're welcome. And of course, being a darkness type Pokemon means this is an easy combo with Zoroark. Not only can you play Zoroark GX and get access to the good GX attack, but maybe we could even see a little bit of a return of Zoroark Break. One darkness energy, copy any attack from the defending Pokemon, I love that card. Maybe you can combo this with that. 120 HP is about average for a stage 1. Retreat to 3 is heavy, but you get to use Heavy Ball. Resistance to Psychic is good because of Garboda, which I know is seeing a bit less play at the moment, but we cannot believe that is actually going to last. It's too good. And it's weak to fighting, which means Buzzwall, which means Gallade, which means Silvalli with a fighting memory. Although Gallade and Silvalli will actually get one hit KOs, even if they're not hitting for weakness. So maybe just be scared of Buzzwall, but be terrified of Buzzwall. Buzzwall's amazing. Now we have one alright attack here, and one really fun attack. And the really fun attack for a dark and a colorless energy, 50 damage. If the Pokemon hit by this attack tries to attack next turn, flip two coins. If either of those coins is a Tails, the attack fails. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. They basically get a 25% chance of actually attacking. This sounds like so much fun. Now, as a side note, I do need to make a quick distinction here. If your opponent switches your active, they still cannot attack. They need to switch to the bench. So if their active changes, they can attack. If your active changes, but theirs doesn't, they can't. It is the Pokemon which is barred from attacking. It's not Skuntank getting any kind of immunity here. So, it's not quite like Waylord. Waylord is the other way round. Waylord is, if you try and attack, I'm getting a little bit of immunity here. So, essentially, Waylord protects itself. Skuntank just stops the defending Pokemon attacking the following turn. I hope that's nice and clear. Now, it is a darkness and a colorless energy, which is a slight pain, but there are ways around it. There are ways to pay this. I mean, first of all, you're just going to be buying turn after turn here. So after the first gun tank, you should just have turn to get energy on the field, to be honest with you. You could go clunky and use a Dark Ride GX with Restoration. Grab it from the discard onto the bench with a Darkness Energy from your discard. And then play an Energy Switch. A little bit clunky. If you're in the Expanded format, we've got Dark Patch. But then again, arguably in the Expanded format, we've got better options. But we've also got Counter Energy. I don't always mention Counter Energy for my non-GX Pokemon in my more recent videos. I'm going to make sure I mention it more often because it is a viable thing. If you're behind on prizes, then this will just be two energy on a Scun Tank. It can only be attached to a non-EX, non-GX with the effect. It can be attached to anything and it's just one colorless energy, but it only gets the cool effect when attached to a non-EX, non-GX. And you've got to be behind on prizes, but you know what? It could work. Not every game, not every turn, but it could work quite nicely. But just to be clear here, 
Your opponent has to flip two coins. If either a Tails the attack fails, they've got a 25% chance of attacking and a 75% chance of it failing. That's awesome. Although, as a side note, if they switch to the bench and then come active, they are treated as a new Pokemon. So the Pokemon that was hit by the attack could attack as long as it went to the bench and came active. Now, there's plenty of things they can do here. They can just retreat. They can play a Guzma. They can play an escape rope, but they won't always have a Guzma. They won't always have an escape rope. And even if they have a way to get to the bench... Do they have an attacker waiting? It's all very well and good just playing a Guzma, but do they have an attacker on the bench ready to go? And even if they play a Guzma or an escape rope, they're not KOing the scum tank so you can pull the same trick the following turn. If you come up against something like this, just cross your fingers that there's a Tapu Koko on your bench. That way you can switch to Tapu Koko and then just free retreat back to your original attacker. But as I've said, if they're playing something like Guzma or escape rope, they're putting you to the bench as well, which means you preserve your energy. If this works, the only time your opponent gets to attack is when you get a KO. And ideally here, you're KOing a GX Pokemon for two prizes. Eventually you take a KO. The defending Pokemon then is KO'd. So your opponent gets free reign to take a single prize KO. This is a difference with Wailord as well. Wailord can make sure whatever Pokemon comes active also can't hurt it. Whereas as soon as Guntank takes a KO, there's no Pokemon that's barred from hitting then. As a side note, Counter Catcher and Pokemon Catcher will not work here. Because like I've said, that is your opponent switching your active. They have to switch their active in order to be able to attack. And this could really buy you time to set up. Maybe you don't play the whole game with Skuntank. Maybe you just take a turn or two with immunity, just stopping your opponent attacking, buying yourself some time. Maybe you get a Darkrai from Breakpoint out and a whole bunch of energy on the field to sweep because that is a sweepy kind of Pokemon. If you're worried about fighting types, maybe you build up an Eveltal EX with a bunch of energy. Maybe you set up some Zoroark on your bench to come and clear up. Maybe you even go something a little bit more unusual. I don't know, maybe something like Hydreigon from Crimson Invasion. It could be kind of fun. It's got a nice little ability. I'm not saying you should go Hydreigon here just so we're clear. What I'm saying is that this can buy you time to set up whatever you want on the bench. And if you're playing darkness type Pokemon, it's not like we're short of good darkness type Pokemon. It could be fun. Your other option here is just go full disruption. While you've got this going, your opponent is going to be trying to build up a Pokemon on the bench. If they're active, can't attack. They're just going to ignore it and build something up on the bench. So maybe you sit there playing cards like Crushing Hammer and Delinquent. Maybe you use Puzzle of Time to re use those cards and just stop your opponent you're already disrupting them by stocking them attacking next turn why not go the whole hog and just stop them having any energy cards in their hand etc i'm not saying this is going to be a game-breaking attack but i'm saying anything that means your opponent needs to flip a double heads to attack next turn has got to be worth a little bit of a play now there is a second attack here but it's not good too dark and a colorless so you can't even use double colorless energy to pay the cost here though you can use counter energy if you're behind on prizes 100 damage you're not even really one hit KOing anything here 100 is not enough to KO non-GX's like Greninja and 200 is not enough to KO most of the good GX's I mean sure it'll get you something like a Darkrai but it won't get you something like a Golisopod which is sad yeah I mean if you had a choice ban then you're two hit KOing any GX which is nice well, unless they've got resistance like a Gardevoir, you won't actually be too hit KO in a Gardevoir because Gardevoir will, with the choice band, they'll go down to 100 with resistance. Then the next turn, another 100. That's only 200 total. Fine. If they've got resistance, you won't two hit KO them. Other than that, you're basically two hit KOing any non-GX and with a choice band, two hit KOing any GX, but for three separate energy attachments on 120 HP Pokemon, nah. Not buying it, ladies and gentlemen. The real selling point, the main attraction of this 
is this first attack, which is really fun and really interesting. Maybe they keep switching and you never get anything going. Fine, it could happen, but you know what? Maybe they won't. And then maybe you can sit there and have a little bit of fun. That alone, ladies and gentlemen, has got to be worth a play. I'm giving this free wassies because I think it could be a good tech. I think you need a couple copies in your binder. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what a free wassy card is. But I need to hear from you guys in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this card. Do you think there's lots of potential? Do you think it's too gimmicky? Could it be a fun tech? Go nuts! Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and so on, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.